Unlike many fertility software products, MyFertilityCharts.com actually gives you multiple ovulation date estimates. These estimates are summarized in a table of ovulation estimates which appears beneath your fertility chart. You'll notice at the top of this table is an overall ovulation date. This date summarizes all recorded symptoms and analysis techniques and boils it down to a single ovulation date estimate. The difference with MyFertilityCharts.com is we also give you information about the different symptoms and the different ovulation dates that have been predicted using different techniques. Let's take a look at an example, specifically basal body temperatures. Basal body temperatures uses four different analysis techniques to produce up to four different ovulation date estimates. These are the averaging, traditional, cover line, and smoothing methods. The software will automatically pick which of these methods should be used to produce the basal body temperature ovulation date, which is shown on your chart using the crosshairs as indicated below. By default, information about your cycle and the actual recorded temperatures is used to decide which of the techniques makes the most sense to be used, which is shown as the auto-selected method here. You can also manually decide on a cycle-by-cycle -cycle basis which you'd like to apply by using the Use This Instead link shown to the left. So if you'd like to change which of these methods is being used to produce the basal body temperature ovulation date, you can pick. Taking a look at cervical mucus observations, you'll notice that there's two different analysis techniques which are possible, the traditional and the alternate method. These produce two potentially different, but many times identical, ovulation date estimates. By default, the software will automatically pick which of these will be used. You can also manually choose which you'd like to use for a given cycle, similar to the basal body temperatures, by using the Use This Instead link shown to the side. The ovulation date that's been chosen will appear on your fertility chart using a cross, as indicated down below. Other symptoms appear at the bottom of this chart and include ovulation testing, the gap method, saliva ferning, and the rhythm method. Ovulation dates for these may also be produced. And they do not use different techniques, they're just different ovulation estimates for these different symptoms. Overall, all the ovulation date estimates for the different symptoms are reduced down to a single overall ovulation date shown at the top. So what this means is the basal body temperature ovulation date selected, cervical mucus date selected, and then the other methods, such as ovulation testing, gap method, saliva, and rhythm, are all looked at and calculated into this overall ovulation date, which is shown at the top. To try this out yourself, visit MyFertilityCharts.com. You can sign up for a free account and start using the charting services.